Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis from phoenixgenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Group Fried Camp. And we have Chris uh, Fial <laughs> How do you pronounce your name? Fialos. Fialos Peta. Sorry, I didn't swear. Race, race, race. And yeah, Desiree and Terry, Phoenix Genesis. And Ray, the service dog, who's fast asleep in the back. We're crashed out. Um, for me, three, we were at the uh, Mike. Microsoft Xbox after party last night until uh, 10 30 and I was up uploading till 4 30 in the morning and we were on the showroom floor at the starting gate and we just got done it's like almost seven o'clock and we're like uh, stuck in traffic heading back to the office anyway anyway yeah. finally get to the call of yeah, duty yeah let's talk to talk about call of duty I don't like call of duty but this one was fun just gotta say that yeah he's a halo guy he I'm a halo guy halo, but we'll, we'll have footage for both on the channels but anyway to get to the point, um, Activision was super awesome, and we got to, you know, um, talk to Nate Shot a couple times from Optic House and support them. They're an awesome team, and Scumpy, the whole team. Nate Shot, you're a cool guy. Yeah, cool guy, hardworking cool guy, guy, you know, really good Email us, guy. email us, please. Yeah, email, email us. us. Back. And, um, and uh, what you call it? <laughs> I'm so tired. So, anyway. We got to see um, some single player campaign and did, we did a video on that and then we got to test out some multiplayer. We got a bunch of shirts, we did photo shoots, we met with Activision, we met with Treyarch, we met Infinity Ward, we met with um, Nate Shot, we met with Sony with the, the new um, DLC agreement that now was going over to them. And anyway, we first time ever at E3, usually last year Game Con for Advanced Warfare, that's when we tested out the... Um, we tested out the multiplayer, but this year we actually had multiplayer footage for Black Ops 3, and we got to do it on the PS4, and as you know, my Frag Camp channel, I've always been playing Call of Duty with PlayStation 4, so the, like this is happy days for me, and um, and by the way, yeah, their Activision is really dedicated to both communities, so don't feel that uh, Microsoft's going to be left out in the dark. They're, they're really, really care yeah. about their amateur players, yeah. we their, all know their they casual love each players. Other. They love each other Yeah, secretly. it's all the same thing. Secret lovers, it's we a, all know it's it. It's a demo public and like party, right? We know it. Being, they just love each other. They love each other. A lot of the Sony people are at the Xbox after party with us chilling. But anyway, the bottom line was with the multiplayer is you got to play on uh, PlayStation 4, which is very, very cool. And if you love Black Ops 2, you're in for a treat. And But what's really nice is also they took the best of, I think, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare from Sledgehammer and they integrated it into the um, new Black Ops 3 while retaining what was good about the Black Ops 2. The first thing I want to talk about is guns. We saw the single player and we got hands-on where we did some domination, otherwise known as Dom, and we did that match. And what was really cool is the gun shine. Um, we were using some um, submachine guns and some of the perks they still have they have the advanced um you know the advanced rifling so you can have that the um movement of the submachine gun but you have now also you still have that range that your assault rifle provides you have your quick draw you have your grip for your foregrip for your recoil um you have i forgot what it was called i'm so tired it's, the one for as, your movement as like a, go for, ahead i'm sorry that's for like a new person like like you know barely barely get into the call of duty black ops 3 it's so confusing like i i mean i had trouble like figuring out what was what i mean all, all I did was just shoot. That was it. I mean, just shoot, aim. I mean, aim and shoot. Yeah, which is interesting because that's the way I felt. I never really played Halo, and you, I had felt that way with Halo Five. Yeah, but we were at the Hololens. Yeah, you remember that the player jumps up and then he slams down. You know? Yeah. Well, do you have different moves? Like, okay, yeah, for, I just never used those. Did you? Yeah, use it? yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 did, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. For me, because as we as we're well aware, for the original Black Ops, so the, you know the the. Um, Modern Warfare's 1, 2, and 3, and also for Ghost, and for the Black Ops 2, we didn't have all these um, kind abilities, of... Super yeah, abilities. Yeah, super abilities. And we didn't have the, the boost dodge, the boost slide, the slams, the, um, the slides. So, for me, I, it was very easy because I played Advanced Warfare, so... Um, one really cool thing is the boost slide is so cool. It's yeah. such a power boost and they have this new thing called, it's like a boost prone crawl and you feel like a spider with eight legs going super fast, but it wasn't like so fast. Like it was, it was just, it'll get you out of sticky situations. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So get you out of sticky situations. And again, as, as you guys are well aware, I'm not someone that believes that you should, um, you know, boost for anything unless you absolutely, um, there we go. There, there we go with the camera. Oh well. So we'll just like put it back up there. Here we go. And um, here you want to put it up real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, don't text and drive and film and do what we're doing, but we're doing yeah, it anyway. So. We're cool like that. <laughs> there so, you go. Um, 
They're professional. So, all right. Yeah. Oh, well, we're partly coming up a little down. Lower? Yeah, a little lower. lower. I'm short and fat. You got to get down there. There you go. Yeah, I guess he has cute face. So anyway, um, young blood in there, you know. Young blood. But um, anyway, so the bottom line is uh, going back to the abilities. You still have your perks. You still have all the different guns. You still have a lot of the things you're used to for, um, you know, your abilities. You still got your tactical and your lethals, which are great. Um, I remember seeing in the single player, you have your C4, you know, um, you know, explosives where you can arm it, you can throw it, stick it, and then arm it and detonate it, which is really cool. Um, what else do we have? Going back to the multiplayer, the, the, um, Maps were good, like in Advanced Warfare, it kind of, and also in Black Ops 2. Now, that's the thing that a lot of guys are going to co complain about, is because in Black Ops 2, they were so bright and colorful, and even Advanced Warfare was very kind of contrived. And the, the maps in Black Ops 3 for the multiplayer felt more organic and real. And same thing with the single-player campaign. You actually felt you, like you were in a war zone, and I kind of liked that. It was, and what was really cool is before in the past, if you fell off, like and you fell in the water, you drowned and you were just screwed. That was it, you know, you, and you had to respawn. And now you can actually go in that water, go underwater, oh, and yeah, boost yeah, yourself yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. I, 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 felt, I was like, what the hell? I'm going to die right now. And I was like, oh, wait, no, I'm still alive. I'm just swimming. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Did, I'm like, where do I hit the respawn? I mean, wait a minute, I'm not respawning. Did go you ahead. stay there for a while? I mean, does the screen go black or anything? Because I, um, I actually was like swimming around in the water for a while. I was yeah. like, well, this is cool. Let's explore. And, oh, it's cool. The buildings were really nice. I remember the um, single player camp campaign was in Egypt and it was called the Ramsey Station and I don't know where we were in the, that multiplayer one with Domination yeah. but uh, it was really cool the inside of the building like all right, for a perfect example like in um, Kevin Spacey's character and I'm sorry I forgot the name of the character but for the Atlas Corporation when you were in the um, you know the Kevin Spacey characters retreat home and that map the multiplayer map it was very um, empty and kind of open because everybody wanted to have room to boost around and they kind of with the now the boost works very fluid by the way but in, in the inside building that we were in it was very nicely designed it looked more organic and real it didn't look like some kind of play set feeling it was very very nice I very much thought it was good the movements were very fluid the guns load fast they had nice um, animations uh, uh, I mean, really, there was nothing honestly, that kind of bothered honestly, me. Go ahead. It, it's the same thing, but it's just, like, for me, like, going into a game, I need to know if it's fun. If it's not fun, I'm not going to play it. So but did you have fun playing it? It was fun. Okay. It was, uh, I had fun. I had fun because, you know, I was I was doing good. It felt right. It, I, I could, it felt natural. It, no, it, with the PS4. PS4 controller, I can for some reason move really faster than the Xbox. Yeah, that, uh, that's the way I felt. Imagine, I mean, I, I wonder I, how the like, Elite would feel. Imagine with the new Elite controller that's coming out for the Xbox. Oh, oh that already came out yeah. for the Xbox. But that, By the way, guys, it's $150, so it's a really cool thing to have. Awesome, awesome. And um, anyway, we're really excited about the potential of um, esports with Black Ops 3. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd say, you know, wait more. Of course, when Game Con comes in Germany, they're going to have more multiplayer. They're going to have more information as they go along. We did ask them when they're going to have the limited pro editions. At first, if they were going to have it. And then secondly, um, if they had a release date, they don't have anything planned yet. I'm sure they're going to have collector's editions. I mean, it's such a beloved series and everybody's been waiting for Black Ops 3. Um, we pre-ordered the regular I just, one. You know, honestly, I wish it wasn't such a, it, I, I kind of wish it wasn't such an E3 thing, you know? Like, I wish they could just get it, have like their own little their own little station and have people come in and just try it out. Oh, I absolutely agree with that. Because it feels like Disneyland at E3 now. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like Disneyland I'm waiting at E3. for, uh, like, six for example today, on the last day of E3, it gets really bad, in which it was a six-hour line for the Halo Master Chief. And yeah. It was, and it was even worse with the Call of Duty ones. But yeah, we were able to get in yeah, because people knew Dez. Yeah, because so. I've worked so long. I've really worked well with Activision. And um, we've worked hard with doing promos with our dog, Ray. Um, last year, we put the uh, Advanced Warfare. They made a special ripped-up shirt. And he wore that and danced with the soldiers this year. We put the Black Ops uh, shirt on him. And we did some different photo shoots with Treyarch and with um, Nade Shot and with... Um, Oh, and guys, don't bring Activision. your dog C3, please. You yeah, don't... don't bring your pets. If you have a legitimate Just... service animal yeah. that's legitimate and it's well, trained. and Because it... then she gets carried away and then, you know. We, we had a dog attack Ray at the end. And, yeah, you know, Ray's, and... a, Ray's a valuable uh, member of our team. But anyway, um, back to Call of Duty. Um, we're very, very excited. As soon as we know more, you guys will know more. 
and um, and Infinity Ward was great too. We had a great conversation with them, and they're working hard to try to really make a great game. Um, they're not confirming yet whether they're going to do um, Ghost Two or they've got something else up their sleeve, but they are working hard. They're fortunately for us, they're local. They're in Woodland Hills. Uh, Activisions and Santa Monica were up in Glendale, so we're all kind of close, so we can really keep in touch with everybody. And, uh, uh, and our let's contacts. do some free DLC for these guys. I mean, they deserve it. They've yeah, been you backing know, backing you guys up for a long time. Yeah, it would be nice. Your... It would be nice if we did, because you know, Halo's doing the free DLC. I mean, I would like some free DLC for. Uh, Black Ops, but we'll see what happens. We don't have control over that. But anyway, anyway, this is Phoenix Genesis. We are so exhausted. And as soon as we have footage and we have more E3 stuff to put up, we will do it after. I, I'm going to go home, watch some mindless TV, and eat and sleep for like three days straight. Anyway, we are signing out. Yay. Later, guys. Later.